Hello, my creative friend, Olga Sabi here. Welcome to new fluid acrylic painting tutorial. Today, I want to expand on the theme of round negative space. I'm really happy how this painting turned out. So I want to do something in similar style and similar uh, steps of creation, but I want to take it one step further and use double hoops. So we're actually going to create a ring for the, for the negative space. Let's see how that's gonna turn out. So without further ado, let's get started. Aspiration is a secret message today and let's get started with adding those colors. So for the negative space part, I want to use a red violet color. It's beautiful, rich color. It dries really dark, so I think it's going to be super nice. It's really dark and warm. I don't want to add too much color because once I remove the rings, which are by the way embroidery hoops, they will shift the level out. So I need to add just the right amount of paint. Okay, I see that I added just a little too much here. So I'm I'm gonna use my favorite brush tool and just help it spread it around a little bit. You know what? There is definitely something about it. it. Looks super neat. Okay, I have already planned my color palette. I'm gonna go for some turquoise and a little bit of violet and gold. But even with like a lot of white, it also looks cool. I think I should do one more, but you know, with a lot of white. What do you think? Would you be interested to see more color palettes with this kind of style of look? Let me know. Touched up on the sides a little bit, but I think I'll work on it more once the rest of the painting is done. So I would definitely want to... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think which order I should be adding those in. So inside of my flow and inside of my hoops. Some violet. The main color that I want to have a lot in this section is turquoise. So my violet was blue violet and this is turquoise blue. So I want to have some of that red-violet in this area as well. But not right next to my rings, so that there is enough color contrast. Okay, looking interesting. Just have more turquoise here. This is oriental violet, just a little lighter type of violet. This is greenish blue, it's like a turquoise, but much darker. This color, very interesting one. It's iridescent red-violet. Looks super beautiful once dry. But I want my main, like, metallic iridescent accent to be gold. So I don't want to have a lot of this color, just a few splashes here and there. Iridescent gold, and I want to this time try to add it right outside of the rings. Let's see how that's going to look. We have some other color there. A 
a little bit of iridescent green blue now to white some nice bright highlights okay let's now blow this out i have lots of lots of paint on the canvas i think it's going to be perfect to cover all these areas trying to think if i should change anything or add any more color before I do the blowout and I think nope it's perfectly good to go oh my god those colors are beautiful oh, this is a lot of gold too much paint shoot this is so cool man oh my god it wasn't super easy to work out around those hoops at this time because they're so close to each other so I spilled some paint and I think this is something that will need to be touched up when it's dry um, because the more I'm gonna manipulate it probably the more I'm gonna the worse I'm gonna make it but other than that the colors are dancing it's a party here oh, I love it love it love it oh I totally forgot this corner oops got some drips here I'm just gonna use them up Oh my god, this totally works. See, like working around, making the sides look flawlessly drippy, yummy. And this syringe works so good for removing all these extras. You do not belong here. Go away. There's still a little something, but yeah, this is. This will need to be touched up when it's dry. seriously love this color combination so i want to do the same thing that i did for the last one with some finger swipes using gold might as well be adding some with brush later oh this is so cool You know, I'm totally getting this feeling right now when you do something and you just love it so much and it makes you so happy. That's guys, guys, that's what we do it for, for this feeling of triumph. Time to remove those hoops. Oh boy, I hope they will not shift a lot. I always like to spin a little bit. I'm not worried about the outside hoops. Oh, you see this gold that I added here it actually looks nice. Okay, yeah, that works. This doesn't. <laughs> this part doesn't look very good. Well, I guess I'll need to work on it more when it's dry. Totally forgot about that corner. I'm gonna grab a toothpick. I'm kind of worried about this area because 
here if there was too much paint i can just blow it off but this one all the paint stayed inside i just hope it doesn't spread out too much let it sit and let, i'll see what happens looking good just like it should <laughs> this is such a cool effect no gold left here so we'll need to fix that and the best part is that i know that this red violet and violet and a couple other colors here will dry much darker so there will be more contrast all right looking awesome okay i do see a few areas that will require a little bit more love but other than that let me show you how it dries it is dry time to do some touching up so first of all my rings they dried really cool but they can use some shaping in some of the areas now they don't need to be geometrically perfect i'm not trying to make perfect rings i actually think that the fact they are you know in some areas a little asymmetrical it makes the whole thing may look more dynamic so i kind of want to keep that feel but some areas for example this corner i don't like and just here and there so we're going to start with that and also think i'm going to work on some of these golden veins As always, I'm using the same colors and fluid acrylics that I used in the pour itself. Okay, rings are touched up. I think they're looking pretty cool now. Well, maybe except for this little corner here. I need to work on it more. Next, I want to work on some of these golden veins, but while all of this is drying, I don't want to do that because chances are I'm just going to smudge it and ruin all of my work. So while the, the current touch-ups, the fresh touch-ups drying, I'm going to work on the sides because they also definitely need a lot of love and attention. You know, I really enjoy the touch-up process. It's such a small, detail-oriented work. And of course, I still enjoy pouring more, but touching up is something that brings a lot of satisfaction to me. Just making everything exactly up to my vision. There's just something about it for me. Do you like to touch up your paintings? Let me know. all right sides are looking much better now and finally i want to work on some of the golden lines i have quite a bit of gold already so i don't want to add a lot but some of them are too thick and some of them are actually too thin so just a few minor details here and there
All done, finished with a layer of glossy varnish and immediately I have a question for you. Which position do you like better? So this is how I initially planned it. This is initial layout and this is position number one. And this is position number two. So in this one, I kind of like this flow. It's very similar situation with my previous um, round negative space painting. This is not how I planned it, but this energy is definitely rising up, even though this part here is kind of heavier. So I do like this one a little better, but first one also works. So position number one or position number two, let me know which one just feels more right for you. By the way, this painting is available for purchase on my website. And oh boy, do I love how those double rings turned out. I think it makes very playful and dynamic composition. And I get this question a lot. So I'm just going to answer right away. Why not just do a pour, uh, let it dry and then paint rings on top? So here's my answer. When I uh, blow out my colors, I move them around the rings and then I spin the hoop before I remove the hoop. That also creates this movement. This way, uh, my colors of the flow, they sort of dancing around this round shape. And that makes all the elements, the negative space and the blown section, they really speak to each other and work together. And it just makes the whole composition a lot more cohesive. Now, you can, of course, uh, do a pour first and then let it dry and paint rings or any other forms on top. It's just gonna look different, it's just gonna be different effect. So it totally depends on what look and style you are after. Also, let me know what you think about this color palette. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.